Welcome to the Evergreen Elementary Destiny Quest tutorial. In order to access the Destiny Library catalog, you need to be on the Evergreen Elementary website. Then you will need to click on Student Links and head to Library Links. On the Library Links page, there are many helpful links, but the link we are going to use for the Destiny Library catalog is the Destiny Library catalog. Once you click on that link, it will take you to the home tab of the Evergreen Elementary School Destiny Library Catalog. This tab has helpful links that you may need in the future. You also have access to the Catalog tab, which can help you search for books on a basic search. A power search will help you search for certain levels. A visual search allows you to search by picture. And Copy Categories allows you to search by lists that have been created. For example, this is where you can find guided reading levels and all of the books that we have on those different levels. We are going to work with our own personal account. So what we need to do is we need to log in by clicking this login button in the upper right hand corner. Your login for the Destiny Library program is the first three letters of your first name and the first three letters of your last name. Your password is going to be your four digit PIN. No graduation years are needed for this login. Once you are logged in, you will notice that your name appears in the upper right hand corner. And you also have another tab called My Info. My Info will show you any library items that you have checked out and when they are due any outstanding fines that you may have, if you have placed any holds that are pending on books, and if anyone has recommended titles to you. The other part that you have access to is your resource list. These are lists in which you can create more lists or keep a personal list of books that you would like to read. Today we are actually going to use Destiny Quest. You will find Destiny Quest on the Catalog tab and it is the second choice on the left hand side. If I click on Destiny Quest, it is going to take me to the same library catalog, but it has a different look. Some students prefer this in comparison to the old look that you were just looking at. This is where I am still logged in because I can see my name in the upper right hand corner. Now I can search for books. So let's say that I'd like to find a book on dogs. If I search for dogs, I can see that this lists all of the books that our library has on dogs. It will also tell us if the book is in or if it is checked out. We can also see from this brief shot that the title, the author, and the call number. The call number is where we can locate the book on the shelf. If I click on the book, it will open up a screen that gives me a little bit more information. It will still give me the call number, the title, and the author, but it will also give me a summary of the book. It will let me know any additional information, any awards this book has received, and if there are any reviews that have been put in for this book. If I've read this book and I'd like, I can add a review to this book using a star system. So it says, how do you rate this title? You can give it anywhere from one star, which is poor, all the way to five stars, which is awesome. And then you will hit save. And now other students will be able to see not your name, but they'll see that there are some starred reviews for this book. If this book is a book that is in and we'd like it, we should go to the shelf and get it. If it is checked out and we would like to hold it, then we would click on the hold button. Unfortunately, if it's in and you click the hold button, it will just give you a note to go and get it on the shelf. We can also add it to one of our shelves. So we can add this to a want to read shelf and it will put it in a list maybe I can access in the future if I'm looking for a book to read. The other thing that we can do is we can recommend this to a friend. So in order to recommend it to a friend, it has to be um, someone that is in the Waterford Graded School district, district. So if I search for Carmeling, I can see that I have some options. I'm actually going to send this as a recommendation to Mrs. Harmeling. And then it does give you a little note that these recommendations will be screened and approved before they are sent. So Mrs. Harmeling does look those over. So it tells me it has been sent and it brings me back to this screen. 
The other option that I have when I'm looking at this is the drag and drop option. So if I see a book that I have read, I can click and hold that book and I can drag it over and drop it in my have read shelf. If I've seen a book that I'm reading now, I can click and hold and drag and drop into what I'm reading now. And if I see a book that I want to read, another one, I can drag and drop and click it in the want to read. If I click on a book that I would like and it is checked out currently, I can click the hold it button and it will put a hold on the book for me. And now I am able to go back to my info and see that I do have a hold listed on this book now. The holds usually last for about three weeks and then they delete themselves. So the library will notify your teacher when your book on hold is ready and it is ready to go. You can also use the tools that are on the left hand side to help you search for books uh, in different areas. This will help you search for books that have reading counts quizzes associated with them. And you can tell it how many points you would like it to have. The Fontas and Pennell lets you search by level, so you can give it the level that you want to search, and it will give you books returned into that level. So that is an option for you. The other item that I wanted to show you is that you can return home by using the toggle buttons that are at the top, which will give you the top 10 books in our library. It will give you access to the personal list that you've created, and it will also tell you new arrivals in our uh, library in case you are looking for a new book. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always see Mrs. Harmling or Mrs. Strobel for help. And this is it for the Destiny Quest tutorial. Have a good day.